As you can see, the 1972 LT2 100 Enduro is on the road. It's out in society once again after, gosh, I don't know how many years it probably was sitting. <laughs> I, oh, there we go. We found its limitations. That's a tiny little piston. Admittedly, this may not be one of the smartest things I've ever done. How many times has that gotten me into trouble? That no guts, no glory sh Hey friends, I'm calling this video my 100cc adventure ride because this is pretty much the maiden voyage for my 1972 Yamaha LT2 100 Enduro. I am amazed that I am already about 37 miles from Cincinnati and I'm about to go on a little part of my adventure loop that I ride on my other motorcycles. And uh, it is with uh, excitement and anxiety that I'm trying to break this bike in on this trip. Let's hop on board and see how far we get. I know that's why many of you came for that sweet two-stroke sound. Admittedly, this may not be one of the smartest things I've ever done. Take a maiden voyage on a 50-year-old motorcycle without any sort of support system. Uh, I'm riding on 50-year-old piston and rings, 50-year-old crankshaft and bearings and crank seals and engine seals. But yet, here we are. And that's why I'm calling it a 100cc adventure ride. I think if anyone were to ride this bike, if you had been born back in the day and you rode these as kids, it would instantly bring back so much nostalgia. Uh, it's, it's absolutely so much fun, the peppy little two-stroke. But I think you'd also realize just how slow we went back then. Uh, 10 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and uh, geared very very low so it can pull itself but a super lightweight bike it weighs 190 pounds dry and uh, very little suspension travel to speak of probably four inches up front two in the rear and it's 50 years old and no damping left uh, and yet here I am having fun on it on a Sunday afternoon. And the more I ride it, like I say, I now have uh, close to 40 miles on the bike today. I'm getting little bits more confidence in it. Uh, I've got to get through some creek sections, some dirt road, and then uh, hopefully do that successfully and then hopefully uh, make it back home successfully and most importantly make it to the borderline creamy whip for a small hot fudge sundae on the way home. I do have the essential toolkit with me for this bike which is the tools that it came with and a spark plug wrench, a spark plug and a screwdriver. There you go, keeping it simple. Thanks. Thanks. All righty. This is the first time these wheels have touched dirt since I've owned this bike. 
little 18 inch rear wheel little 18 inch front wheel 2.75 wide up front three inches wide out back skinny 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 little tires oh my gosh this feels so good two-stroke loving it oh this is where this bike belongs man all that road riding to get here was absolutely worth it but that is not where this motorcycle belongs this is where it belongs it's cruising along at a good little clip I should be going slower so I can savor this a little bit more, but it just feels so darn good. Good on you little Yamaha for getting me here. Complete and total lack of suspension. Yeah, bouncy, bouncy. You can just feel how lightweight the bike is, though. And all those memories of dirt bikes as a kid just come back. The layout, the soft padded seat. They had real seats on them back then because your butt would get destroyed otherwise. Alrighty. Let's see if the old girl... Oh God, and the old Magneto can make it through this thing. That's some pretty good water right there. <laughs> I'm gonna ask these dudes. How deep is that, guys? Oh sh I was like, I hope that's a flotation device he's got on. <laughs> On my other bike, I'd do it in a heartbeat, but I'm not going to take this through there. You know, it's got an old point system, and, and the air cleaner's real low, and I just think... You, you may see me back here in 30 seconds, who knows? One down. Oh. All righty, little bike. That's deep, way deeper than usual. Well, no guts, no glory. How many times has that gotten me into trouble? That no guts, no glory. Review 
there are no brakes once they get wet. Zero brakes. Not a nothing. Oh, still no brakes. I'm gonna check this out. Yeah. Very little. Okay, note to self, drum brakes, water, not good. Alrighty. What have we learned? Well, Yamaha builds a good bike. There you go. Even 50 years later. Second, I guess, no guts, no glory. Wow, this is all nicely paved. They've just done that. part that I'm not crazy about on this bike is riding it just on stretches of road like this like I believe I said earlier 40 miles an hour you can do that uh, it will make it up to 50 if you're ringing it out but I'm just gonna kind of back it off hang out around 40 see if a bunch of traffic comes up on me fast and then I'll let them around I am not in a hurry. Almost home and we've done about 71 miles today. The bike has performed absolutely flawlessly, though I was holding my breath a number of times. It's, it was, it's just an awful lot to ask of a 50 year old 100cc motorcycle to travel like that. And I promised you some final thoughts. And I think, boy, I wish, I wish I was back in West Virginia with those trails I had as a kid right outside my door. Because that would be the place I would love this motorcycle. I would love to be out on some single track trail or away from, from society on this bike. Uh, but as it is, I need to ride quite a distance just to even get to a gravel road, much less get off-road. And that's asking an awful lot of the little bike. It's a perfect bike to just, for me, riding by myself. I had light traffic today. I could do 35 miles on the roads and I didn't upset anybody. I wasn't holding up traffic because it's Sunday afternoon and there wasn't any. Uh, but because the bike's older and it's so small, riding by yourself does present risks if anything goes wrong with the bike. You don't, you don't have anybody else there. You don't have the bailout option. Um, but then riding in a group of people, I think it'd be super fun riding it with Honda Groms or Honda CT125s, 
something like that, other really small motorcycles. In that kind of group, man, I would dual sport this thing all the time. Uh, it really is, the performance is closer to a pit bike on this than a full-size motorcycle. Uh, all of that said, this bike means a lot more to me than so many other motorcycles I've had frequently. Because right now, motorcycles, old bikes, are selling at all-time highs. There's this just this mania. People are selling rusty old crap um, that's halfway gone for thousands of dollars. Everything is just hyperinflated as far as vintage bikes go right now. And I don't know, I'm sure it will settle some, but I don't know when I would ever be able to afford another bike like this just for the fun of it. And especially one so complete, one with a title. So I feel like this is a very special bike. Um, it's a survivor. Tens of thousands of similar bikes are in landfills right now or rusting away or they've been parted out. So I really want to hang on to this thing. I want to take care of it. I want to clean it up more, a little bit at a time. Uh, I probably would never do a full restoration and I would probably never put it on a pedestal because I do want to be able to hop on it from time to time. Where it will be great for me is just urban errands. I'll maybe find a little pack for the back. If I need to go 10 miles, 15 miles, uh, pick something up at the motorcycle shop. If I'm meeting friends for lunch, I'll take the long way around on this. It reminds me of uh, being a kid, finding those dirt pathways, taking the road less traveled, and just having fun on your little motorcycle. So I do love the bike. Uh, I had a little challenge coming to decide how I was going to assess it now. And I'll continually assess it. I'm going to keep riding it. I would like to get it to some trails. I'd like to do more adventures on it. Uh, and then I realized one of the reasons I was having a little challenge coming, uh, collecting my thoughts is because this blows me away, but the sound of the two-stroke exhaust for a couple of hours, as much as I love that sound, many of you love that sound, I've realized it can be fatiguing. I'm laughing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get home. Almost there. The bike is doing great. And uh, once there, I'll give you a final clock in of the mileage. And the official tally on the ride length. Trouble free ride today. Though tense at times. 82 miles. Good job, little Enduro. And there are some XT225, well, there's the XT225 engine. And bearings are in. I've almost got all the parts. That thing will be getting assembled sooner rather than later. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for future riding and wrenching videos. Ride safe. This is actually a pretty big deal. I'm at the Borderline Creamy Whip getting ice cream, and I rode my little Yamaha 100 here. We've put 60 miles on the clock together today, which for a 50-year-old bike that hasn't been running a long time is pretty amazing. It's held up so far. Let's see if it can get me through this ice cream and get me home.